welcome to this tutorial series on microservices this is my uh, continue video on the microservices i already had created uh, some of couples of videos on the microservices so i am actually creating a e-commerce sample application for the microservice development so this is the architecture that i am following so idea is idea is that the user I can hit a request and then it will goes to the dual proxy API gateway then it will go to the Rekha server and then the particular microservices will be called so technology wise I am using AngularJS dual proxy Rekha server Spring Cloud and Spring Boot Eclipse and MySQL so I already created the microservices so I already done with the creation of all four microservices order service customer service product service and DV services are already created so in the from the order service I have some rest endpoints from there I am passing the customer username to the customer service and I am getting the customer details from the DB service so customer service is hitting the DB service to get those details and then those details I am getting into order service so same way I am calling the product service from the order service to get the product information like product price so product service is hitting the DB service to get those information to the order service so then I am placing the order so this this is already done this is working fine so if you have not seen my last couple of videos so please check those videos also so and these are the videos and you can also subscribe my channel so please click on this button so you will be able to get the automatic update while I upload any of the video so let's in this video I will be creating the Eureka server because these microservices are just created as a simple microservices and these are not configured yet as a Eureka server as a Eureka client so I will be creating a Eureka server first and then second step is to configure all four microservices as a Eureka client so these are the microservices that are created in last couple of couples of videos so let's check them again so in the DB service so this DB service I have rest endpoint to save the save the customer so this is the rest endpoint to the save the customer and this is to get the customer by customer username so this is the order resource to get the order to save the order so here I have a rest endpoint to save there I am passing the customer name and the price and then the third rest resource is to save the product and the get the product by product name so DB service is used for the DB operations and the second microservice is e-commerce service e-commerce customer service so here I'm saving I'm getting the customer by customer username and internally it is calling the DB service and same way if you check the product service so this is our product service so here internally it is calling the DB service to get the product price information and in the order service I am actually generating the order so, so in the order service uh, I am calling the customer service and to get the customer information in the product service and then I am calling the DB service to save the order so let's create the Eureka server so we need the web spring mbc uh, dependency and Eureka server dependency for the Eureka server so let's generate the project so now we can we can import it as a maven project so let's try to accept it. So we need to copy the path. 
let's import it as a maven project so it will download the dependency because I'm creating this type of project first time so will download all the dependency from the global repository okay so it's imported so to, to make it as a Eureka server we have actually three steps three basic steps the first step we already did we got the dependencies so that is our first step to get the Eureka server dependency so if we check our pom.xml file so we already have the dependency for the Eureka server so this is the dependency so now the second step is to add some properties so these are the some properties that we need to add so spring application name and server port is default properties for any of the spring boot micro you know, spring boot service so these are the these are the configuration for the Eureka server these three Eureka client register with Eureka so this should be true this should be false sorry. this should be false because this is a server so for server it should be false for client it should be true so the port number is fine so so the third configuration, the third configuration step is to add the annotation that is enable the Eureka server. So this is the annotation that we have to add to make it as a Eureka server. So that's all. We need to start it and then we need to check if it is working fine. So then we can configure all other four application as a Eureka client. Okay, let's start it. So after starting, we will be able to see the uh, console of uh, Eureka server. So this the console should be on local host local host eight three zero one. Yeah. So as you see this is the console of Eureka server. So as of now we don't have any instance running because we have not configured any of the Eureka client. So let's configure them. So we have four microservices so we have to configure all four of them as a Eureka client so the steps would be same that we did for the Eureka server so first we need to add the dependencies so we can copy the dependency directly from the server itself so we need this dependency this one into our Eureka client so we can copy it and let's check if other things are required yeah this one is required spring cloud version is required then let's check if something else I think this dependency yeah this dependency management is also required And is there anything else? Yeah, let's add this one also. Repositories. Okay, so we did first step, we added the dependency. The second step to make it as a Eureka client, we need to add some properties. So let's add those. So these are the properties that we need to add. So this should be true for Eureka client 
we should this also should be two and the port number is 8301 okay that's it so the third step is to add one annotation that is enable a paper client annotation yeah that's all so this microservice is configured as a Weka client now so now we can start it and we can quickly check it if this is working fine so so as we start this application this will be started as a single process this will be configured to the Weka server and this will be registered to the Weka server and we will be able to see this application on Weka server console so let's check if it is coming yeah so we are able to see the application here right so it is configured successfully with the Eureka server so we have three pending microservices so these three we need to configure as a Eureka client also so this will be a repeatable task so I am pausing this video and I will be doing Okay, so I done with the changes. So I made all four microservices as a Weka client. So I added the annotation, I add, added the properties, and I added the dependency to all four microservices. Now we can start. So the one of the microservices already started. That is e-commerce customer service. So now we can start. Uh, other service so I'm starting the DB service then I will be starting the order service and then I'm starting the product service so after starting we will be able to see all four microservices into the Eureka server so this should be Register to the Eureka server. So let's check it. Yeah, our customer service and DB service is registered. And now the order service is also registered. yeah so all four now the product service is also coming so all four microservices are registered successfully we can able to see their port also so we have the db service port 9301 order service 9304 product service 9302 and 9303 for the customer service so we did the configuration for the Eureka server so we created the Eureka server and we configured all four microservices as a Eureka client, so these are registered to the Eureka server. So that's all for this video. So I will be continue creating the and uh, creating the dual proxy in the next video or and other tasks that so the configuration of, of the Eureka server is already done, and I will be creating the UI for the to get the request from the client so that's all for this video we'll see you in the you in the next video thanks for watching uh, thanks for time bye bye